All right. So, we're going to be starting the not so very challenge in The Sims 4. I am super excited for the challenge. I've started it before, but I've never finished it. Um, so I'm excited to kind of use this as an accountability and be able to finish it. Um, I will say my Sims 4 also doesn't run the best, so we might run into some start and restart issues, but we shall see. Um, like it might be frozen now. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to add the official rules into the chat of the Not So Berry Challenge. Um, this was created by Little Simmy and Always Simming. Um, it's a super fun challenge. I've watched other creators do it. I really enjoy it. So the basic rules, which I will post in the chat. The basic rules is that each air must be represented by their uh, their color, whether that's through their hair, their makeup, their clothing, brightly colored skin is not necessary, but you can do it if you want to. Um, the colors of the spouses don't matter as long as they aren't part of the challenge, unless otherwise stated you can do whatever you want with the spouse. Money cheats can be used, but not excessively, so they suggest to use free real estate for your first home, but to not cheat afterwards. And then... You may live wherever you please, unless it is something that is specified in the rules for a specific generation. Every generation is supposed to complete both the career and aspiration of the heir, unless explicitly stated otherwise. And keep the lifespan on normal, and if you play this challenge and want to share it, we'll use hashtag not so very. Um, so the first generation is the mint generation. And this one is described as, you are a mischievous scientist that loves the color mint. You are career driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. And the traits that you have to have are vegetarian, jealous, materialistic, and you have to have the aspiration of the chief of mischief and the career of scientist. So for the rules for this generation, you have to master the scientist career and complete the chief of mischief aspiration. And you have to master mischief and logic skills and then complete the elements collection, which I've never been able to do. So we'll have, <laughs> have fun trying to figure that out. And I will also post this into the chat in case you want to read. And I will also post this link, which has all of the generations in case you would like to follow along um, and maybe do this for yourself because I think it's going to be super fun. All right, so today we are going to be creating our mint character um, and then possibly getting into some gameplay. Um, so let's get started. So the traits we have to have are vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. All right, so we have vegetarian. That's squeamish. Jealous. And then materialistic. All right. So, we have the Chief of Mischief Aspiration, and we'll do likes and dislikes as we get through the game, um, and let them kind of appear naturally. All right, so, I think I want to start with mostly women's sins, um, because I'm really gay, but... <laughs> <laughs> that might change as we go, but I think I'm going to start having all women sims at first. Alright, um, let's think of a name. So we'll use the last name Barry for the not so Barry challenge. And then I'm trying to think of a good mint 
name. Let's let's look up names. Because plenty of people have made good names before. <laughs> There is also, there's a possibility to use mint, but also Kelsey Dangerous used that. And so I don't necessarily want to just copy that. I'm trying to think of another good mint name, even though mint is really great. But admittedly, I probably should have thought of this ahead of time. Hmm. People are saying basil, pepper, pepper's not Peppermint is actually kind of cute. I think I'm going to go with that just because I can't think of anything else. So her name is, first name is going to be Pepper, middle name Mint, last name Barry. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. We're going to have her as a young adult and we're going to have Mint Hair, which they don't quite have. I feel like this is the closest color and I see this is the one that most people use whenever they do this challenge. So we're going to stick with this one. And let's see. I'm also not one that has a lot of CC downloaded because I don't have a lot of space on my laptop. But so using all base game hair and stuff, I do really love that one. I feel like that kind of looks like a pepper hairstyle. Let's see. I'm kind of digging this face shape already, actually. Maybe make the eyebrows a little less pronounced. But honestly, I think she's looking pretty good already. All right, let's go by color. Do green and blue since that's the easiest to filter by. Oh, this is kind of minty. I want something slightly more subtle. Eyeliner. 
I think this is looking cute. Alright, so let's go for clothes. Again, we'll do blue and green. There's not a lot of great, like, mint options in this game. Like, there's not a lot of mint green, really. Like, this is kind of mint green, which is also really cute. Let's see about pants. Let's see if there's some shoes to match. Alright, do some blue, green, see if we can get some shoes. There's these, but those are not, no, not really cute, in my opinion. mint green in them. Maybe if we go with different different pants. Maybe if we do like black pants we can go with a black shoe. Those are cute. Not with this top, though. <laughs> There's this. This is not like screaming scientist in this shift to me. Very cute cold weather look. Or honestly, this is really great for cold weather too. Okay, well, we'll go back to that. so little when it comes to options. Oh, this is cute. I haven't seen this yet. Okay. I kind of like that. I think that is probably my favorite contender right now. Again, it's, it's more blue than green, but I think it, it kind of works. It matches the hair. I think I'm gonna go with those. I do really like these pants, but I don't feel like they really go with what I'm looking for. I think I might go with like black or white for pants. Mm -hmm. 
These are so low rise. I'm not a fan of low rise. Okay, that's cute. Let's go for shoes. More like sneakers for every day would be good. I'm going to bring these hips in just a little bit. She's gonna have her work outfit for when she goes to work. So I feel like sandals might be fine for an everyday look because she's gonna change before she goes to work anyway. Those aren't, mm, no, not great. <laughs> Don't like those, <laughs> changed my mind. Let me see about boots. I mean, you can't go wrong with like a classic kind of dock Chelsea boot. I feel like that's always a good, a good choice. I also love how they specifically added these docks within the college pack. Okay, I feel like I can live with this for a first outfit. And I might change one later. Oh, interesting. Not the biggest fan of this hat. And then if we're going to do formal, let's add some more like dramatic makeup. Go with that one with some eyeliner. Mm, okay, never mind. I changed my mind. That's a little too dramatic. <laughs> Cute. We'll do some lipstick. I mean, they have this color that matches the hair, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like the suit, just not this one. Really? It's not really fitting with the color scheme. Not like I think there's really going to be much that fits in the color scheme in the first place. We got this top. Oh, that necklace is cute. That necklace actually kind of works with the like space theme of her wanting to be a scientist. Kind of cute. 
It's very like classy, but I think it's cute. Honestly, I think that looks great. <laughs> A little chunky though. This is kind of cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that one for now. I have to change the shoes though. I don't know, the heels aren't that bad. Okay, so then on to athletic where there is that one that we saw earlier. This, I think this looks great for athletic wear. Maybe with some like track pants. I think that looks good. And then for shoes. There's no like real good mint green shoes. These ones have green little accents, but they're like darker green. Those kind of match her hair. Okay, I'll stick with those ones. Sleepwear. Oh, okay. Interesting choice. Some of my shirts look like that. I guess I shouldn't say anything. Um, let's see. Let me do, let's see if we can find some blue bottoms. Those could work. That's cute. Or we could do these. I think those are cute. Honestly, the bunny slippers are also adorable. Let's keep them. All right, party look. Oh, this is cute. I do like that. That doesn't match, but that is very cute. I do kind of like that for a party look. I think it it looks kind of retro, but I feel like it looks also very cute. That feels like a little too formal. This is very teacher. <laughs> Not quite what we're going for. That's not quite mint green. None of these, I feel like, look great. Here's this. This is kind of cute. It's not quite a mint green, but I think it would suffice. With like some 
some cute little white lace-up boots. Alright, swimwear. Again, interesting choice with, with the auto outfit. That one matches her hair pretty well. I don't know, swimwear is usually pretty simple, I feel like. All right, hot weather look. We got a mischievous, mischievous vegetarian scientist. What fits that vibe for hot weather? Not entirely opposed to that. I feel like that looks very... A vegetarian would wear that. I do like the skirt. Can maybe find something a little bit better. That's cute. Okay. Maybe I want to change the skirt a little bit though. Go for more like shorts, maybe? I love these shorts. I would 100% wear these shorts in my real life. I pretty much have <laughs> these exact shorts. Um, they're not really, not really jiving with that shirt though. Everything is so low wasted. Which is probably why I like this skirt so much. But those are kind of cute.
Okay, maybe, well, I do like this top, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's not gonna work. I just feel like it doesn't really go very well with a lot of the bottoms. But it is really cute though. I don't consider even shorts, but I don't really consider knit a good hot weather <laughs> accessory. Let's take off them and, and see what other shorts they have. That might look decent with this. Nope. Everything is so low waisted. Okay, I do like those like flowy almost like linen looking pants. Maybe I can work off of those. Let me go back to this top. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. Not great, but not terrible. I mean, I feel like this looks very much like crunchy vegetarian mom. <laughs> None of these look great. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this for now. I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I don't like it though. I feel like doesn't look the best. Like I really like this top but I wish it came down a little bit more or the pants went up more.
That's not quite mint green, but I like the best out of everything. So here is peppermint. We'll probably go in and do, oh, I didn't even notice the back of that top. That's actually really cute. Okay. So we will get started with our berry household. I feel like this is cute. Okay. So we have Chief of Mischief and we have to join the scientist career and master that. And then we also have to do our mischief and logic, which the logic will come with the science career because we'll have to do that. Um, and then completing the elements collection should also come through the scientist career. We should hopefully be able to complete that pretty easily. So we'll see. I'm probably just gonna look at a house from the gallery to use from, for the start. Or maybe we'll just find like a good starter home to use. I feel like starting in spring is always good. New beginnings. All right. Hmm. As far as a scientist with mischief, mischievous skill, I feel like Strangerville or Evergreen Harbor would be the best places to go. But I think I'm going to go Strangerville. All right, let's see. Let's look for a household. And we'll do not so very. Or not a household, but I'll fix that in a second. Lots. This one looks cute and it's a base game. That's a cute little starter. A little villa.
Okay, this one's really cute. I think I'm gonna go with this one. At least you all get the waiting music. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting here silently waiting. really quick and place our starter home Now let's place that house. Here. And then actually we would be closer to like the bar and stuff. And then we'll use free real estate to get this first house just to get us started. I think 
I might need a new laptop <laughs> if I'm going to be streaming soon. Because I think it's a little, a little working, it's working itself pretty hard. Actually, we'll just go ahead and do this. All right. So we didn't use for real estate to get money. So we have about almost a thousand simoleons. We will need to get to the scientist's career pretty quick. But that's also, it, it pays pretty well. So it shouldn't take us too long to get a decent amount of money. I wonder if there's any of the werewolf pack that I would be able to add into any of these generations because I feel like that would be pretty interesting. Obviously I can use like the wedding pack and the high school pack when that comes out, but I wonder if there's some opportunity to be a werewolf for a certain generation. All right. So here we are with our little starter home. Oh, this is so cute. I love this little stool. That's adorable. Okay. All right, and we got the chessboard and everything and a laptop all set up. Perfect. The person who made this house did an incredible job. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start our career. So we're going to need a job. And then I would say let's go ahead and get our logic skill up after we do that. All right. Scientist. So we're going to work 10 to 7. All right, not bad. And we'll be able to go to work with her, which is nice. All right. Let it do some... Just get that logic skill started and up and running since that's one of the things that we have to master as well as the mischief so maybe we'll do some some trolling of the forms after we build our logic skill for a little bit this house is so cute this person did such a good job. Like, I love this. Mint is not my color, but I think this house is absolutely adorable. And we got this little pond back here. Super cute. Okay. All right, working on the logic skill. I feel like this first like few hours in Sims time, when you like first move into a house, is like where everything is great and you could literally do whatever you want. And then from there it goes all down. <laughs> Like, their needs start out perfect, and you can pretty much do whatever for as long as you want, and then, oh, we have our welcome committee. I'm not going to welcome them in, because we're in Strangerville, 
and we're not going to be doing that. Oh, logic level two. Great. Which means we're going to be able to analyze plant samples, which will be very helpful for work. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the welcome wagon. I would like you all to leave. <laughs> Nope, no thank you, I'm not going to join you in the crater. So we don't have work, we have work in 22 hours, okay. building up the logic skill because this is going to be very handy for the scientist career. I guess I should also make sure really quick that my game is on normal lifespan. Oop, I was set to one. Okay. And this is why we check. Because I thought we were going to be... <laughs> it makes sense. I play on long a lot of the time. Especially if I'm just doing like... A fun little gameplay of like me and my friends or something. Because then it's more about like... Just trying to have fun. And less about leaving a legacy or anything like that. Alright, let's keep fast forwarding. Just gonna play chess all day. I'll probably let her stop after she gets to this next one. After she gets to level 3. I feel like that'll be a good stopping point. Use the bathroom, make some dinner. And then maybe troll the forms, start working on the mischief So We're just going to constantly be skill building and working towards our goals. start off with some grilled cheese. That was my struggle meal when I was vegetarian and living by myself. Honestly though having nine thousand or nine hundred dollars in your bank account is not really struggle. <laughs> but you know she'll make it work. I love the back of this shirt. It looks so good. Yay, we didn't burn the house down. Alright. Let's put the rest of those in the fridge. And then when you're done eating, let's uh, troll the forms for a little bit. I guess maybe we already have to have the mischief skill before we can do that. Okay. Well, go ahead and clean that up. And then we can go out. So let's go to the bar nearby. Let's 
somewhere around here. At least I thought it was. It's this way. Oh well, I'll just do it from here. Let's travel. Let's go to the bar. Let's go to the bar today. Maybe we'll meet somebody, including our future spouse, potentially. If we don't meet anybody, we can at least start our mischief skill, which will be helpful. Blair Martin, got an elderberry, that's also kind of funny, who is this, Marcus Flex, okay, maybe we'll talk to Marcus, do a friendly introduction, and who is this, Rin, alright, Rin, you're also kind of cute. Make some friends. All right, you're feeling flirty. Let's tell a funny story. Maybe ask about career. Complain about love life. You don't have a love life yet, Pepper. Ask about your day, and then let's maybe prank Blair. Lie about our career. And maybe start a rumor. All right, Marcus is unemployed. Got more military personnel. Do a friendly introduction. Okay, so we acquired the mischief skill. Maybe let's trick trick her with a hand buzzer. See if she responds to that. I'm gonna turn that off. So 
So we finally introduced ourselves to Deidre. All right, and now we're gonna do the hand buzzer. Let's see how this goes. Hi, Miyagi. Oh, okay, it seemed to go over well. We both laughed about it. Let's maybe try a what's that spot. Let's see how that goes. She seems to be in a good mood for us to mess with her. All right, so we need to perform 10 mean or mischievous actions. We've done four already and we need to be disliked by two people. I feel like the mischief is going well with this person, so maybe let's invite her to a fake party. They're like, hey, I just moved into town. I have this new party that I want to bring you to. And then it's like, mm, just kidding. That was fake. Oh, you're talking about Marcus. Okay. Do you have a thing for him? Are you all together? All right, let's see. Who we got over here? There's lots of military women here tonight. All right, Peyton. Maybe let's get Peyton to hate us. Maybe Peyton is like the sergeant of Blair and is like, mm, I don't really like how you're treating my personnel. I don't really appreciate it. And so they're like, you need to quit. And now she's gonna dislike us because we're mean to her. Because we're not going to take that. We're just going to be like, no, we're just being funny. So we're going to argue with her about politics. Great thing to get in an argument about. Miyagi. Quit. Oof. We look angry. Then argue about her career and just be like, well, oh, it's guys night. Well, there's a lot of women here for it being guys night, which I mean, I'm not really complaining about. Who is this? Katrina. She still doesn't dislike us yet. We're going to insult her, though. Ooh, we're starting to get tired. Oof, we're getting angry. Oh, both sides lost the argument. Okay. We've almost completed our 10 tasks that we have to do. Let's do our last two and then we'll head home. I'm honestly surprised that she hasn't disliked us yet. Let's chew her out, why not? I'm trying to get you to hate me. Yeah. 
pepper is a little spicy tonight. All right, let's do one more just to just to round it off, get our 10. We'll do a mischief. We'll lie about our own career. I feel like, oh, and we got disliked by her. Yes, all right. So now let's go home. We're tired from all of this arguing. It seems like they got into it too. Maybe they overheard the argument and then decided that they were going to talk about it. Alright, quit this conversation. Let's go home. You need to go to sleep. Mischief level 2! Okay, so now we control the forms. Cool. Perfect. Because now we can work on our mischief from home. I love how all the guys were just standing outside of the bar, even though it was guys' night. And they could get discount drinks. to sleep for work tomorrow and then we get to go to work with her I am in love with this toadstool it's so cute oh angrily stomping around all right why are we embarrassed oh we made an awkward comment at some point that's not that bad. We'll be fine. What time do we have work? We have work at 10. Okay. to get up. Ooh, it looks like we almost had a breakthrough. Let's eat leftover grilled cheese and use the bathroom. And then maybe we'll play some chess before we go to work. That will hopefully get us to a breakthrough because we need two breakthroughs in order to have a promotion. Right, and then we also need to be disliked by one more sim. We can make somebody dislike us at work. Being disliked by a coworker is not unusual. I thought I was going to say that we had a breakthrough while we were on the toilet. <laughs> what do you mean, you know? Shower thoughts. Toilet thoughts. It's similar. Similar idea. Alright, let's do some chess before work. Very happy about our vegetarian approved meal.
work starts in about an hour. Our needs are pretty good, but we're not looking like we're any closer to our breakthrough. Maybe let's take a, a quick thoughtful shower. Let's see if we can do that before without being late to work. Probably not. Yeah, no, that's going to make us late to work. Let's not do that. We can take a thoughtful shower once we get to work. Okay, let's go. I'm going to join her. Scientist Career is the only one that I've actually joined a sim at before. I've never played any of the other ones where you join them at work. So, hopefully we can maybe do more of that during this challenge. I just feel like it's a lot easier when you can go to work with them rather than sending them by themselves, especially when you live in just a household with one sim, because then you're just staring at an empty house being sped through until they get home. Alright, we're off to work. Alright, we have to ask a co-worker for a medal, have our first breakthrough. Let's introduce ourselves to the receptionist and introduce ourselves to this lab tech. Caleb. We'll do an introduction there too. That way we'll have three people that we at least know at work. And then we'll keep an eye on who we want to make dislike us. I love how our opening line was, hi, I don't like bugs. Okay. Oh, she's very tense. Okay, well, let's just go introduce ourselves to Caleb. And then maybe we'll ask Caleb for a medal. She's just like, excuse me, hi. I want to introduce myself. It's my first day. All right. Ask for a medal. Sweet. We got an extra medal. Okay. I don't know why I didn't count that off, though. Marcus is calling us. Hey, Peppermint. I've been thinking about getting to know Dominique, or Dominic better as a friend. Isn't this also your same last name, dude? Better as a friend, you think the two of us can hang out? Yeah, sure, go for it. I think that's the same. Is that person related to you? I feel like they're related to you. All right, let's use the microscope. Where's the microscope? That's analysis. So I think this is the microscope. Maybe. Or we can just try 
this one. Oh, I'm going to use this. Okay. Stop chatting. You only have so much time in the day. Really? He's going to use it? Okay. Well, then let's read a book. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we read. Let's just read Crisis Farm. <laughs> Do we have to read the full book or just do some reading? Oh my god. <laughs> Miyagi wants to lay in my lap. Scratching me. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna count, but let's see if we can use this microscope now, since he's not using it. Why are you so upset with me? Well, I guess we still can't use that one. Okay. Orbital pudding. Try that. Ooh, okay. That one's at least making our breakthrough go up. I feel like we're so we're almost done with work, it feels like. And we've done barely anything. All right, yay! We had our first breakthrough, and we wrote down an idea for the Momentum Conserver. All right, so now we need to go invent that. And then maybe we will introduce ourselves to her. We are inventing. There's no way we're gonna get all three of these today. The work day is just moving so fast and we are moving so slow. The Humor and Hijinks Festival. Okay, we're gonna have to go to that after work. Yeah, I don't even know if we're gonna get to fully invent this. Okay, maybe, I guess we did. Sweet, so we did invent it. Let's put that in our inventory, or I guess we have to turn it on. I just put that in your inventory. Where did it go? Oh, it's still right here.
Alright, turn it on. And let's view it. Okay, so we did actually get all three today. Sweet. Which means we can stay after work. Can we now use this? Of course now. He's not in the way. When work's supposed to be over. Yep, okay. Well, we earned $281. That's pretty good. Time to go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, get up to some mischief, maybe make somebody dislike us there. Because that would be pretty easy if we're trying to get into some hijinks with, as a trickster. just wash our hands and brush our teeth and then let's go to the festival. travel by ourselves. Miyaki, you sound like such a little old man. Do you want to get down? Do you want to say hi first? Say hi. No, get down. I feel like most of the stream is just waiting for the game to load. <laughs> Unfortunately. Blue is dreaming beside me. All right. So we're definitely going to become a trickster. Or a prankster, I guess. Yeah, we want to be a prankster. Maybe order some food? Oh, let's get... Oh, these are lactose free, but they don't say that they're vegetarian safe. What about this one? Hmm. 
I don't know if I trust it. This is how I feel as a vegan going around places. I don't know if I can trust it. Jeffrey Landgrab. We can make him hate us. Let's do... Let's do a rude introduction. And then we'll do some mischief. Over here to introduce ourselves to him. Okay. Diego Lobo. We can also make him hate us. He's feeling playful. And I'm just like, mm, no, I hate that. But instead of being mean, let's just be mischievous to him. Oh, he actually likes me being rude to him. Okay, that works. Oh, okay, maybe not. Mischief, imply T sabotage. Convinced that the tea is poisonous. And imply that they were the one that poisoned it. Heck yeah, she likes mischief. Instill fake confidence. He already has a lot of confidence. But we can instill him with more. Oh, he actually seems to be liking our mischief, because his hate for us has gone down. Good old Judas Ward over here. Hmm, we can lie about our career. Oh, we're in the lead by two. I got a whole lot of action skewed. I don't think I'm gonna get someone to dislike me, but because it, our friendship seems to be going up the more that I do mischievous interactions. I reached level three. Yeah, the more mischievous I am to him, the more he just seems to like us. Let's sing the Pranksters theme song. Even though I'm pretty sure we're gonna already win. Nancy to hate us, maybe. Let's start off by being rude to Nancy. Did it already say that we won? 
No, it just said we were in the lead. Oh, that face. Yep, let's make you just like me. Um, I'm gonna pester you since I'm feeling playful. Also insult you. I don't generally like being mean. Like I'm not a mean person in real life, and I have a hard time doing this with Sims too. But mm, I feel like Nancy deserves it, and I can make her hate me pretty easily. Mm, let's mock your outfit. Pranksters one. Perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna fight you, but I will brush you off. Come on, you don't dislike me yet, Nancy. Well, you like me enough to get old, to get up. Let's argue about career. Come on, I just really want to seal the deal. I just need you to dislike me. I'm only going to be mean to like rich, obnoxious sims. Come on, Nancy, just dislike me. Mock your outfit again. Imply your mother's a llama. I was gonna see if I could trust your husband. Give you a mean gift. Ah, yes, okay. We did it. We got her to dislike us. Okay, so now we need to use the computer to cause us shift three times, but let's go home. Because we are hungry and tired. And still in our work clothes, but you know, it's fine. Alright, let's eat some grilled cheese, get leftovers, and then go to bed, because we have work tomorrow. Yep, work in 11 hours. I think we're doing great, though. We're off to a great start. We got level 3 of Logic and Mischief. We're already on to level 2 of the Aspiration. We did pretty decent at work, and we're about to probably get a promotion. We just need to have another breakthrough. I think we're on a roll. I think we're doing great. Mostly, we just need to find somebody to have a child <laughs> to start the next generation. But we haven't had anybody strike our fancy yet. 
maybe we'll have a nice coworker that we'll fall in love with. Time to go to bed. Hi Miyaki. Welcome back to the stream. No, no blood. Why are you screaming? Hmm? Why are you screaming? Are you okay? Yagi is not a fan of the vacuum and M was vacuuming earlier, so I think he's still very upset. And he doesn't he doesn't know what to do. Other than just get in my lap and scream. Hmm. Isn't that all you know how to do? Yeah. Those are your favorite activities. thoughtful shower. Maybe see if we can get our next breakthrough. And then we will use the bathroom and eat that final grilled cheese. Oh yay, the earbuds, which we don't need. <laughs> Through. Sweet synthetic food serum. And work starts in an hour. Perfect timing. Okay, so we'll probably get a promotion today. And then we have to do mischief on the computer three times. So we can do that after work. Or maybe at work, depending on what happens at work. Yagi. Just lay down, buddy. What's up? All right, let's join. Go to work, go to work, go to work, go to work. I need to find a way for me to also listen to this music. Because <laughs> I just sit in silence while waiting, and it feels probably more awkward for me than it actually is. Um, I don't know, maybe it is awkward. Who knows? I mean, I guess you know, and you could tell me. <laughs> but maybe don't tell me, because that might hurt my feelings. But I would like to improve.
All right, so we made it to work. And we have our needs all filled, perfect, okay. So we need to practice analysis. Ooh, let's introduce ourselves to Nalani. And then practice analysis. Well, actually, let's introduce ourselves and then ask her for the crystal. Are you gonna introduce yourself? Maybe? Seems like you're kind of trying to. There we go. Oh no, I accidentally clicked on myself. Alright, we need to ask her for a crystal. And then we're gonna practice our analysis. We got a peach crystal. We need to make sure that we have the elements table at the house because we need to work on that too. And then we need to, well, it says any plant, so. Maybe harvest all of these. Or let's harvest the strawberries and then harness the daisies. Then we're going to need to get to know a coworker. Analyzing crystal. Sweet. Got an element. All right, and then we need to analyze fruit or flower. Go ahead and analyze a daisy. Now we're probably going to end up having to give this serum to somebody, so that's what we can do to get to know. Let's go ahead and organize that, and then who is this? She's an elder. I don't know if I should quite do that. Maybe the receptionist. We'll have her test it. We reached logic level four. Oh, and it's a better quality. Sweet.
before she picks up the phone. Right as I go to introduce myself. I thought I already introduced myself to the receptionist, but maybe that was a different receptionist. Who is this? Somebody I've already met. Okay, so Alice, let's give you the serum to test. And then let's get to know you. And maybe brainstorm on the conductor for a bit. We learned that she loves the outdoors. That's cute. Okay. Stop that brainstorm. Should be enough to get us over. Potentially, or maybe we'll have to do one more thing. Marcus. I'm glad. I'm glad that you had a good time with Dominic. I got some spare parts. Okay, we need to chat with Caleb. Or honestly, let's just analyze the metal. Well, we can't do that. But we can. Oh, we can't over here now. Alright. So let's analyze the metal. That should get us to be good. Can we analyze the metal? Are we gonna do it? Come on. We're so close. <gasps> we did it! Nice. Right as work was about to end. Perfect. triggered it yet, so. I don't know why. It's almost 8 o'clock. And I think she only works until 7. Yeah. But we should get a promotion. There we go. Yay, we got a promotion. Okay, so we're the apprentice inventor now. Make an additional $8 an hour for $32 an hour. And she will receive the following bonus. She gets new clothes. All right, next shift starts 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Great.
Alright. Sweet. Alright, so let's make some food. Serve some dinner. Let's do vegetable dumpling, if that sounds like a good promotion meal. I don't know how she made those dumplings, but it's usually not what dumplings look like when I make them. <laughs> Alright, can we skill level two? Alright, go ahead and grab one of those. And then I'll put the rest away. What's the spoiled food that's in there? Is there a grilled cheese in there? Alright, well, she wants some fun, so let's troll the forms. Is that under socialize? Yeah. Why is this not working? Why? Why is this not? Okay. Hmm. Okay, well let's try something else. Let's get you a different thing. I'm pretty sure you can do it through a tablet. Vlad, go away. I just saw you. And she's got plenty of money. Oh no. I broke the cardinal rule too. I didn't, I haven't saved. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come back. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Well, I'm going to take that as a sign <laughs> and save really quick. Let's get the slap left. 
out of there. Alright, and we control the forms from there. Perfect. And we can just sell that flat top for some reason. I don't know why that's not working. Alright, do we have the element thing here? I don't see that. So actually, let me go ahead and buy that too. See if any of these go on here. Mm -hmm. I think we have to send it to the Geo Council, maybe? Okay, let's roll the form some more. So is this not counting as using a computer to cause mischief? Hmm. Oh, send chain mail and like hack and stuff. Okay. So never mind. Stop trolling forms. Can we do that here? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, dang it. Okay. So it looks like I do need a laptop. Moments before dawn. Hi. If I know you in real life, can you tell me who you are? And if not, otherwise, just hi. I'm excited to have you here. So I need a laptop. Maybe she has, she needs a desk, maybe that's why, but it, it should work otherwise. Oh, no, you don't know me. Oh, hi. Well, welcome. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. There's a crackly sound. Oh, no. Thank you. Hold on. It might be my fan. Let me, let me turn my fan off. Let me know if that's better. Alright, I need, I think I'm going to need a desk. Oh shoot. Dang it. Okay. Of course I got up and then everything decided to, <laughs> to fall apart. Desk. Do it here. 
It's the same. Sounds like a loose cable or a mic issue. Mm, maybe. Let's see if maybe if I... It's better. I appreciate you troubleshooting with me. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see if my laptop mic is better than the mic that I had plugged in. Okay, now we have a laptop. Which means we can do some more trolling. Honestly, she should probably just go <laughs> after all of that that I just did. She should probably just go to bed. We'll get her to level four and then I'll send her to bed. All right, sweet. Okay, so now she can send chain letters, which is going to be helpful because that's what we need for the next level of the aspiration. Two more breakthroughs for work. My day's going okay. Most people are done. I mean, it is nine o'clock, about nine thirty where I am. So it is. I'm winding down my day. Um, but yeah, how how's your day going? What time is it where you are? And, Relatively, where are you <laughs> that you feel comfortable sharing? Right, let's get up. Use the bathroom, get some leftovers. Well, it looks like we're really close to our next breakthrough. dumplings and then maybe let's try Marcus again okay you have a crush go for it we met once at a bar my guy I don't know why oh Australia nice and it's nearly midday that sounds fun my wife actually has a friend who lives in Australia um, and the time difference is very interesting we were talking about that last night um, about how technically people in Australia are a day ahead of us. Um, and sometimes my wife's friend will spoil the wordle for me by accident by telling me what they got. <laughs> oh, she looks sick. Oh no. Am I going to have to order some medicine? Uh, 
such a symbol. So. Cool, she can batter her cold. Alright, she's gonna have to go to work. Ooh, waiting for the weather to clear up so you can go for a walk. I wanted to go on a walk today, but I ended up not doing that this morning. But hopefully maybe next morning. Um, meaning tomorrow, next morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow I can go on a walk. The mail has been delivered. Let's get the mail before work. Also, my wife is saying that it is also still crackling on the sound. So I'm assuming it is for you too. It's just little crackles. I wonder if maybe if I plug this back in again, if it'll be better. Ooh, okay, so we got a new element. Nice. She's about to go into work, but let's see if I can get this element in here. First. Oh, okay, nope. Let's join. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in after work. Okay, so apparently the mic makes it worse. Big shout out to Moments Before Dawn and my wife for helping me fix my sound. <laughs> I also hope it wasn't entirely like that for the two hours prior. <laughs> oh, it's winter, so it's harder to get motivated for anything. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I mean, I feel like walks during the winter are like, are pretty nice as long as it's not like massive snowfall or something like that. But, but yeah, it's definitely hard to get any kind of exercise. Walks are good though. Cause I feel like you can bundle up and not, you're not gonna get like too sweaty, but it'll still get like your heart rate moving and, and stuff like that. So walks are definitely a good thing for winter. I've been wanting to potentially get a treadmill um, I know everybody on TikTok has those, like, um, like standing treadmills for, like, when they're working, which I don't think would be my jam, but I don't know. I've, I've been thinking of trying to find something to do inside because similar to the winter, like, now with it being summer here, like, it is too freaking hot to be outside. Like, the second I step outside, I am sweating. <laughs> so it, it is exercise to go outside in and of itself, let alone actually trying to do something. <laughs> Do you have any favorite forms of exercise when it's not winter that you like to do outside? Like, do you go on runs or something like that? Oh, started trying to lose weight to get healthier again? Gotcha. Yeah. I feel like walks are, are a, good, a good thing to do, too, as, like, a, a way to just generally get healthier. Like, it's a good light cardio that isn't, like, too impactful on your joints and stuff. Like, I, I have really bad joints. So walking, I feel like, is, is pretty good for that light exercise. And just walking, not good enough for running. Um, mm, avoiding the gym so, through COVID? Yes, definitely feel you on that. There's been a couple times where I'm like, you know, I would love to really go to the gym, but I don't feel like that is a great idea for me right now, personally. So I am also still avoiding the gyms, which is difficult. I mean, that's honestly why I've thought about <laughs> 
getting like a treadmill or something, you know, because normally I would just go to the gym and use a treadmill that's there, but um, haven't been able to do that. Mm, making good progress early last year. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, things come and go in ways. Progress isn't linear. And I think that that goes for all sorts of things. So I think we can get back to it. I don't know you personally, but <laughs> I think, yeah, progress isn't going to be always one straight line. So I think I think that makes sense and that that's still okay. Working on our bonsai tree here. Hopefully, gonna get another breakthrough soon. Have you ever played um, or done a not so berry challenge before, or like watched anybody do it? Uh, went into another long lockdown. Mm, yeah. We're not necessarily in, like, an official lockdown, but our household has stayed locked down because we're very cautious with COVID, with my health issues and then also some family um, stuff. So, yeah, I think it definitely, like, ebbs and flows with bad habits and coping mechanisms, I feel like, when it comes to the lockdown stuff. I, I feel you on that. I love how examining the bonsai is just kind of like checking it out. As if you're like about to flirt with it. <laughs> okay, we had our third breakthrough. Nice. Do you feel like the strictness was like a is ultimately like a good thing? Like do you think it's it's doing its job of mitigating like more cases? I mean, here here in the US, <laughs> we all strategy has basically been given up upon, so I'm interested to hear if there's like, if you, if you feel like it's making a difference. Yeah, saved a ton of lives. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like it's it's one of those things where we need people individually and collectively to to do their part, but also having some sort of restrictions at like a government level do help to encourage certain behaviors and and help save disabled people or otherwise. Vulnerable, more like more vulnerable people. Also, there's plenty of like regular old healthy people that are are getting COVID, um, and ending up with long COVID, and it's it's not going well for them. So yeah, I think having having more strategies and being a little more strict in the lockdown for a small period of time, even I feel like it's helpful. Oh, he went really fast. Hmm. Yeah. And I mean, I think it's, you can hold both of those things. Like, the lockdown can be 
quote unquote bad for you personally, but still think it's a good idea. I mean, like when we had like our actual only real lockdown that we had back in March of 2020, like there were a lot of parts of it that were like not good for me or my mental health um, or even my physical health, like you're mentioning, but um, still think that it was the right thing to do and ultimately feel like it, it helped at least a little bit at the time. So yeah, both of those things can be true. so long to admit this somewhere. Yeah, I, I did put on weight um, during a lock lockdown. Um, I mean, definitely, like, not just laying around the house and and stuff didn't, didn't really help with that. Um, but also, I mean, part of it, I mean, I've changed some other healthy to healthier habits that I think might have contributed to me gaining weight and just I, I'm personally fine with it the amount of weight that I've gained um, even though my doctors and other people seem to not be happy about it not that my doctors are like disapproving of it by any means but um, I got the like notification or whatever that like my BMI is no longer in a considerably like healthy range which the BMI is bullshit anyway Ooh, I have to name the sim ray if you want to provide a suggestion for what I should name the sim ray Oh yeah, BMI is, is outrageous. It's outrageous. It doesn't mean anything. It's only used to just make feel, people feel terrible about themselves. Um, yeah. I like didn't even notice. I mean, thankfully my, I, I, my doctor was like nice enough and like didn't really say anything about it, but I noticed it in my paperwork that it, it like got it got, got triggered in the system to like put something about my BMI, which, you know, never feels great, but I know that it's bullshit and I, I feel, yeah, I feel happy with where I'm at. And I hope that you can get there too, whether that is like you losing weight and you feel happier about it, or if you just have a mental shift, I hope that that, that comes for you too, whichever feels better for you or best for you. Any thoughts on the name for the sim ray? I, I can't really think of anything creative. Where is Alex? It's Alex, no, it's Angela. This is Alex, okay. So I need to discuss work with Alex. Chemistry lab for an hour. We have exactly pretty much an hour left of work. So I don't think we're going to get to that one.
Mm, until your mom brought it up. Yeah. Do you feel like that was like when you started to? I don't know, like want want to see a shift in it, like if, wanting to go back. Like, do you feel like that was related to your mom? I also like. You can feel free to tell me to, <laughs> to not like to not answer any of these questions. Um, but yeah, I feel like when other somebody else points it out, like that's when it kind of gets. I don't know. That's when I feel like my brain starts to be like, oh, you know, maybe I should do something about this. Even if I didn't feel it like I needed to before. I'm just going to name the Sim Ray Man Ray, like from SpongeBob, because why not? <laughs> Marcus, I don't really want to join the powerhouse, no thank you. Let's see if I can freeze right here before. Time for work is up. Oh, is it gonna count? It didn't even count. Okay, well, that's fine. Didn't get a promotion. I think we need one more breakthrough before I get a promotion. Okay. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an awkward conversation, but I mean, if you feel like that it was, it was done in a way that, like, you felt you needed, then that's good. And that hopefully it didn't, after that, like, little beginning, like, embarrassment and awkwardness, it, like, wasn't, it wasn't a bad interaction after that, hopefully. All right, let's take a thoughtful shower, hopefully get our next breakthrough. And then we need to cause mischief three times on the computer. Let's send a chain letter to Where's the, where are the William crabs? I feel like they deserve a chain letter. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you get along with your mom. And that that was actually a supportive conversation. I feel like that doesn't, that's not always the case, so I'm happy to hear that. Well, let's send Vlad a chain letter. Mm, yeah, a lot of weight pretty fast. Yeah, I feel like that was kind of what happened to me, too. It, it it seemed to be very sudden. I mean, I know technically, like, biologically that wasn't the case, but it, it seemed to be very sudden. Um, okay, so I've had this before where... If you say money, money, give me now, I gotta get married, and I don't have anybody that I wanna get married to. So I'm gonna say under what conditions. But you have to summon me for now. Thank <laughs> you. 
blood, you can have bad luck. You're a vampire. It's fine. <laughs> Another chain letter. Mm, yeah, it was harder to see the changes. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't mind answering. Um, so I gained, I think, about 30 pounds. I don't have, like, a scale or anything at home, so I'm not sure, like, how long it was. I mean, I went, like, over a year between doctor's appointments, so, like, that was when I noticed was when I went to the doctor, but, um, or, like, that was when it was pointed out to me, but, um... I would say that it probably was within, like, three to four months, it seemed like, that I gained, like, 20 to 30 pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I still don't really know, like, exactly what it was, other than maybe just, like, having healthier habits, and I, I stopped drinking as much, um, and that brought back my appetite, so I was eating a little bit more. So, I'm not really sure exactly what caused it, but, but yeah. I'm trying to find a random, like, sim person that I dislike to send this chain letter to. I don't really like Diego Lobo. I'll send it to him, too. It wasn't too bad by any means, um, which is why I'm like I'm 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 not really upset by it. I, I think overall I'm healthier than I was prior to gaining weight. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay. So we completed a milestone for the trickster. That's or yeah, aspiration. Sweet. Okay, so now we have ten pranks and level six is what we're. Why are we looking on logic and mischief? Both level four. That's not bad. Oh, I can put the elements in there. There you go. I was going to play some chess before bed. <coughs> we can work on that fourth breakthrough. <coughs> yeah, if you, if you want to share, feel free. I mean, I know that this is like more of a public form, so feel free to share whatever, whatever you want to.
thinking I was going to get her up in logic skill, but probably not. Oh yeah, we use pounds here. So I need another break here for work. I'm probably gonna sleep right up until work. I'm trying to sit that way. Oh, okay. She's actually up pretty early. Um, let's do that. And then get some leftovers. Alright, work starts in an hour. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that also happens like when trying to lose weight that there's more of a steep incline kind of at the beginning and then it like flattens out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean it definitely makes sense like with lockdown and everything going on. I mean that's also just stressful, let alone like not being able to go anywhere or doing do anything like I, I think that like makes sense mm, gotcha so you've gone back over yeah I mean it makes sense I mean like I said before progress isn't linear by any means so um, it's okay that things kind of swung back in the other direction and that you're you're working towards towards going back in the, the way that you want to go now. Let's try and have a word. And I feel like like little walks and stuff like you were talking about before, like just getting outside and being like having some sort of like vitamin D from the sun, like I don't know, personally it makes me like mentally feel a lot better and then that makes me more motivated to continue to do it um, as like a form of exercise but also just like a, a nice thing for my mental health.
so long for it to load. When it comes to like going to work. Ask somebody for a medal. No, do not do a for the introduction. That was not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's ask her for a medal. And then we use this for research. Hopefully, have a breakthrough. I want to give me a crystal pepper, that would be great. Gotcha, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I think also, I mean, you mentioned that, like, oh yeah, we had another breakthrough. Um, you mentioned that, like, you were more in your room and stuff, and, you know, sometimes people that, like, see us constantly every day aren't seeing, aren't, aren't seeing that, like, small change happening, but when they go for a longer period of time without seeing us, um, so yeah, maybe it was more of a shock, just with you saying like you were in your room more. I don't know if there's any bees all around here. I'm going to have to put this in seeds. Yay, we did get myself perfect. Right, so we can make this theorem now. If we chat, 
with the robot for a while. Oh, we already did that. We already finished that. Okay, so we need to do this. There, crushing it works today. Hmm, yeah. Definitely the comfy clothes, too. Makes sense. I also generally like to wear back air clothes anyway. So, I, I feel that. Work with her. I really don't want to drink the red hot serum, so I'm probably not going to. <laughs> Analysis. Yeah, we've already done like pretty much most of the stuff at work. Oh, it looks like we're about to level up in logic too. Nice. Level five. Analyze a fruit or a flower. Analyze. Strawberry before. No, let's do sage. Oh, I found a new element here. Great. I mean, I guess I'll drink this room. This little count for both of those. Made me angry. That's why I didn't want to drink it. Talk to multiple things. Mm, yeah, that makes sense that it was the moment that it started to click. Like, I, I'm glad that you said earlier that it was a it was a good moment though, and they all have a good relationship. There's an angry poop before the end of work, if she can make it there. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Got a promotion. All right, Junior Tinkerer. So now like $39 an hour. Sweet. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it did feel awful in the moment. Um, yeah. But I guess, it, since you have a good relationship, since it was coming out of a place of worry, I'm glad that, like, it didn't maintain being an awful moment. Two of the elements. Let me pull ten. Right. So let's maybe go somewhere. Not all by ourselves. Go to the library. Maybe just go some breaks to the library. I will say I'm probably gonna hop off relatively soon since it is ten o'clock at night now, <laughs> and I have to work in the morning. Um, but I do appreciate you staying and chatting with me. Um, and I hope you'll tune in in the future. I'm probably going to be continuing this, this series every Monday. Um, I think it's my plan. But I'll also stream, like, other days, um, too, with just different games. Just not Sims, but I think I'll continue the Sims one. I know we can print toilets. So let's start with that. Let's print. We'll have to change out of our workflows. Use the phone, computer. ourselves to this scientist. Oh. 
Oh, he's awful angry. Yeah, that, that is a lot of weight to gain in uh, a short period of time. So I, I understand her being worried. Maybe I'll plant some people there. sense I mean I think I think you can be kind to yourself and and acknowledge that it happened um, and also be motivated to change but yeah if, it, if it's staying shocked by it helps motivate you to change rather than just accepting it then that that makes sense I mean you're gonna know what motivates you more than more than me She liked the prank. That was good. I feel like this is a great way to get all the pranks done. It's just introduce yourselves, try a prank out, and then you can sleep. What the elders here?
Oh, he liked it. He liked the nail closer. Okay. Everyone seems to generally like my pranks. Oh yeah, the weather's gonna be clear for a walk. That's good. Yeah, I'm probably going to hop off pretty soon, uh, which hopefully that'll be around the time that you can take a walk, um, which I think would be nice. Um, a walk sounds great right now, but it is pitch black outside, <laughs> and I probably need to go to bed pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you hanging out um, and chatting. I see one more thing. I wonder if I can also prank for it again. Maybe a little bit. Well done for the challenge. Let's see. Out of the the rules and things we have to do as a master of the science career, we've got two promotions. Complete the mischief aspiration. We've done two of those. We're almost done with the third one. Uh, master mischief and logic. We're about halfway there. And then complete the element selection, which we have two of. Um, so that's probably going to take the longest. But we can work on the elements collection while we start preparing the next generation, which is going to be the rose generation. So. That's pretty exciting. I'm going to tuck pepper mint berry into bed and then call it a night. Alright, get her some food. And put her to sleep. So I'm likely going to be continuing this Not So Berry series every Monday evening, um, starting around 6 o'clock. Um, that's 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, but I will be doing other streams throughout the week with different games, uh, probably some Animal Crossing, maybe some Earthbound, maybe some 
fun, competitive or cooperative games with my wife. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate you hanging out and hope to actually complete the Not So Very Challenge at some point soon. So yeah. All right. Thanks.